and I'm back. And up stream or whatever this thing is, we go. Yeah, I, really, I remember thinking like when I first got a gun, I was like, "Oh man, I, I get guns." That's uh, even though it's only only for certain parts of the game, I found that kind of unique. <coughs> no, or you know, I guess refreshing. Refreshing wasn't the word I used back then, but I was really surprised to see that I actually uh, got a uh, a weapon. You know, like a uh, a gun. I was very happy because you know like I said all I played before this was uh shooters although you know like like the the uh, the zombie part that part I didn't really like too much I was glad I had a gun but I was like oh, I wish it was something else but you know my first time playing this game I mean my first time playing the game all the way through I had a strategy guy well not all the way through first time playing the game or second time playing the game. Second time playing the game, I had the strategy guide, and I had the codes. So, hang on a second. Yeah, my first time playing, or my second time playing this game, you know, because the first time I had it, I didn't, uh, I got stuck. Second time I purchased the game, or got the game, whatever, I had the strategy got. <clears throat> so I was able to play the game dis disjointedly, or whatever. I, I was able to play the chapters in, w in whatever order I wanted, because the strategy got also contained the, uh, the password. So... Once I had that, I just, I just, I just skipped to the good parts, you know, like the funny chapters. And I went to the chapter, you know, where you're in the army and you fight the teddies and you get the guns, and I was like, oh, this is pretty, this is pretty good. I was surprised to see the, uh, the, uh, the guns were in here, the game. You know, I, I didn't exactly use, you know, like the words refreshing back then, but now I think about it, it, it was kind of refreshing, you know, to see. You know, refreshing and a little uh, you know, diverse to see different types of gameplay, you know, platforming, a little bit of, of third person or first person shooting, a little bit of vehicle driving, and the vehicle driving isn't, it's not, it's not so bad, it's not, it's, it's, it's not as annoying as it is in other games, the vehicles control okay, aside from the hoverboard part, which, which also controls okay. But still, I was like, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. And I don't even know if I don't even know if a hover, I don't, I don't even know if a, if a hoverboard is really a vehicle or not. It's, it's more like a toy. Hmm. I don't know what I've been told. 
But yeah, you know, I was very surprised to see it. And once I played the game through without skipping any chapters, you know, once I just played it straight through without the codes, it was even better, you know, I was able to appreciate it, uh, appreciate it even more. But yeah, aside from Light Crusader, for the Sega Genesis, this is the first game I've ever, first game with puzzles I'd ever completed. And I was very happy about that. I was like, well, okay, this, this is actually, you know, I feel kind of proud of myself. Because I wasn't really into games like Zelda or nothing like that. Are you the janitor? I don't suppose you have any, like, toilet paper? No, I'm not the janitor. And could we please have this conversation somewhere else? I think I'm starting to get. Oh, yeah. I got a bit of a problem, and, and it's kind of like, oh, um, yeah, well, I'll come out now. I, I, All right. I seem to have this thing attached to my back. I, I, I can't see what it is. Um, oh, uh, you need to worry about that. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh. I, 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 I'm a little tired. Could you give me a hand? Just get around back third, okay, you know, give me a hand. Uh, well, okay. It's not that I wasn't into Zelda at the time, it's just, uh, I wasn't really aware of it. Like, I, 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 I didn't really follow, like, yeah, I follow gaming, but, like, I don't know. <clears throat> I was just unaware of the existence of a lot of good games. Most games I looked for. I didn't. I didn't always have a lot of money. I had a job, you know, but still, I didn't have a lot of money. Like so, I tried to just buy stuff that I thought I would like. So it was like, okay, that has a gun on the cover. I'll get that. That has that has guns. That that has aliens. Okay, I'll get that. You know, if I would have knew the value or whatever, or you know, or you know how fun adventure games could be, if I even knew what an, what an adventure game was. Then yeah, I would have probably said, okay, well, I give Zelda a shot. Oh, this is going to be not fun. Fortunately for me, I think I think I'm pretty good at this part. When I first played this part, it was kind of an annoying, oh, but after I. After I played it with the strategy guy, and, and, and then and then a few times on my own, it was okay. It's not so bad. Be ready, conquer. Be ready. Go, go. What are you doing? No, dang it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> See what I have to go through, and I have to do this all over again. All over again. Okay. Hmm. And the right side, <clears throat> wouldn't you know it, is even more annoying, I believe. Cause there's, there's 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 one part that has like these little mines and like uh they're not just regular mines. I think they actually get up and like once they detect you, I think they actually get up and, and like run towards you or something. It's something crazy like that. I'm not even sure. I know it's not fun. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. Jeez. I'll be right here.
I'll just stay here. You go on. Suppose yeah, I know. Toilet paper. Come on. Out. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, the right side. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's a pain. But, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not that bad.
it's not really good either. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. It's something that I think I've gotten a little better at throughout the years. Not much, not much better though. But, well, I'd, I'd, say, I'd say I've gotten significantly better. Let's see. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I really liked the uh, the shooting. I kind of wish that uh, there was more levels. Not 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 like the vampire level where you do shooting, but you know other other type of shooting, like uh, the later half when you when you're in the uh, the army. That was actually pretty pretty fun. Main thing was just with well, this is just sharp turns, sharp freaking turns. Just turn. Just gotta know when to just turn on a freaking dime. You know? No, 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 no. Perfect. Don't even think about it. Okay. <clears throat> Once you get moving, he he doesn't stop on a dime. As you know, he takes a while to uh, he takes like three or four steps before he stops. So the best thing is to just either memorize where they're coming from or just learn how to turn on a dime. Oh really? I'm not gonna die when I'm halfway. When I'm more than halfway complete. I just go over here and set off the bomb. And I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of this of this uh this game. So we got like a good three more hours to go at least. Once I hop in the boat and get to, uh, I guess they're trying to call this Normandy, the beach of Normandy or whatever. Once I get there, then I'll actually, uh, make a new video. Alright. I guess that's the only guaranteed way to make sure you join the army. Let's oh, just force you in there. Clonk you on the head. Oh! Yuck. That's what you get when you die. It consists, consists of nothing but acorns. this
this part I kind of this part I I, I can say I kind of felt bad for Conquer. <laughs> like kind of sad. Like oh look at, look at all this crap. Should have seen all this mess. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next video.